Hello, Pleasant Valley readers. Mrs. Jancy here, and I'd like to introduce my father. Hi. Glenn Moss. He's visiting from Michigan. He's 92 years old, and we'd like to share a story with you called School Then and Now, written by Robin Nelson. And my dad should feel free to share any memories that come to mind. We go to school to learn and see friends. School has changed over time. Do you have some ideas of how school has changed? Yes, it was friends for us because the students coming to school was in within two and a half miles of the school. So it was our neighbors, our close neighbors that we were in school with. Long ago, children had to walk many miles to school. Well, that varied. My home was three-quarter mile from the school, but there were some that came as far as two and a half miles. That was too long to walk on some days, so their parents would give them a ride in the car. Ah, now children take buses to school. Long ago, schools had only one room. How was that for you? We had two rooms, two teachers, and uh, what was interesting and helpful was if you were in grade five, you would listen to the lessons given to grades six, seven, and eight. So you had an advantage of learning things before you were actually in that grade. Interesting. Now schools are large buildings with many rooms. Long ago, children in your class were many ages. That wasn't true in my school. I mean, we all started when we were five years old, and that kept us pretty much the same age. Of course, if you were a poor student and didn't pass your grade, then you would be included with those a year younger than you were. Now children in the class are all the same age. Long ago, students had to share a desk. How was that for you? We each had our own desk. Okay. But I did see those desks where two pupils sat side by side. You needed to hope that you had a good friend to sit beside. <laughs> now students have their own desks. Long ago, students wrote on slates. Oh, we would too. Often as a student, you would be asked to come forward and write things out on the big blackboard. Okay, now students write in notebooks. Long ago, students wrote with chalk. With what? Chalk. chalk? Oh, yes, that's what we used. On those White chalk. Maybe there was a little colored chalk, but not much. Everything else was white. We don't have blackboards anymore, do we? Now students write with pencils. Long ago, students learned reading, writing, and arithmetic. Oh, yes, arithmetic was important. We learned to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. All on our tablets, our paper tablets. Now students also learn science and social studies. Anything else as far as memories of school? I remember recess. We had good times at recess. We would choose sides and play softball or soccer. And um, we had lots of exercise. When the bell would ring, we'd be sad that we'd have to go and sit back in our desks and learn again from the blackboard. Thank you so much. Isn't it interesting to think about school, how it was back when my dad went to school, walking three quarters of a mile. Yes. No school bus and how it is the same and how it's different in modern day. Thanks so much. It's a pleasure.